let's get started with number two. Uh, sum from i equals three to six. So we're going to start at the third term and go to the sixth term. Um, I'm sorry, these should, this should be a k, not an i. So k times k minus 2. I'm going to start out just showing you the pretty basic way and then the using the way you, you would do it using the summation formulas. So we would start with, actually I'm not going to show you the summation formula for this one because it starts at 3. We'll just leave it like this. So this will start at a k being 3, so k will be 3. And then k will be 4. And then k will be 5. And k will be 6. We know we stop there because that's where it tells us to stop. So this is 3 times 1 plus 4 times 2. It's a plus, plus 5 times 3, plus 6 times 4, 3 plus 8, plus 15, plus uh, 24, and we have 11 plus 39, so 4, 50, 50. Okay, I will show you the formulas for number 6. First, the, the basic way, with the most basic understanding, and then the way with using the formulas. So this is going to be i minus 1 squared plus i plus 1 to the third. Okay, so this is going to be first i is 1, so we have... 1 minus 1 squared plus 1 plus 1 to the third. Okay, that's the first term. Plus the second term. Uh, i is 2. Um, i is 2. Alright, now i is 3. i is 3. Now i is 4. Um, you know what, I'm just going to show you the basic way. I'll show you the formulas on other ones. This would actually get quite long and messy, and you just get mad at me. So, um, 1 minus 1 is 0, so 0 squared. All right, that's 0. So 1 plus 1 is 2, 2 to the third is 8. Okay, that's this here. And then 2 minus 1 is 1, 1 squared is 1, so plus 1. That's this guy here. Um, plus 2 plus 1 is 3, 3 to the third is 27, that's this guy here, uh, plus 3 minus 1 is 2, 2 squared is 4, that's this one, 3 plus 1 is 4, 4 to the third is 64, um, 4 minus 1 is, uh, is 3, squared is 9, and 4 plus 1 is 5, 5 cubed is 125. Alright, so um looking here this is seven no, this is sixty-eight. No, there's a better way to do that. Not really. So this is just sixty-eight. Why not? This is one thirty-four. This is twenty-eight. This is thirty-six. Uh so these two added together are 170, and then these two added together are 238. Okay, I may have made a mistake there, just adding numbers together in my head, so uh, if you want to call and write and tell me I got that wrong, I'll certainly change it, whatever it is, but I'm pretty sure about that one. All right. Um, Next, we'll move on to 7.
So we're going to take what they show us and write it using summation notation. So we're trying to look for a pattern, look for a rule we can write that would define this sum. They make it extra tricky by putting a, a break in the in somewhere in the middle so that we can't just add or not add but count the number of terms, right? So that makes it a little bit more of a challenge. All right, so we don't know how many terms we have. We were going to start at i equals one to what? I don't know. To the three, four, uh, at least four, maybe five, six, seven. How many? I don't know. What's the rule? Well. It looks like we're always going to multiply by one third, so we got this one third thing, okay. And then there's always something down here with three, but that's what's changing. And how is it changing with respect to i? Well, i is one, i is two, i is three. I keep going all the way down to nine. So this, uh, without knowing what's in the middle here, it appears like we would just put i down here, one over three times whatever i is, and we'll go all the way up till. 9 following that reasoning. Okay. We could also look at it as having a constant multiple. So we could pull out that constant multiple from i equals 1 to 9 of 1 over i. Okay. So there you go. We just use summation, summation notation to rewrite that um, just like we were asked to. Number 10. So it looks like the first term will be in the square brackets here. One-fourth squared plus one minus two-fourths two -fourths squared plus dot 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 plus one minus four fourths squared. Okay, we always we see there's always this one, and then we are um, always subtracting uh, something over four. It's always over four, and it's always squared. Okay, you start to see those uh, those things that remain the same. So we know we're going to start at i equals one. Let's try and write the rule, and depending on the rule, that'll tell us how far we've gone, how many terms this actually is. So let's see, we, we always have this 1, always minus, always something over 4, always squared. None of that is changing. None of that uh, is affected by i. So how does i go in here? Well, 1, 2, 3, 4. Seems like that would work if we just put i in there, i over 4 squared i is 1, i is 2, i is 3, apparently there's only one term in this dot, 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 uh, and i is 4. So how far did we go? We went up to the fourth term. So, not bad. Um, number 16. Uh, i equals 1 to 15. When these ends are rather large, we don't want to write out 15 terms and try to add them by hand. This is where the formulas come in handy. Well, first, we remember that if we have uh, a sum or a difference inside the summation notation, we can write it this way. This first one gets its own summation notation, minus this other one gets its own summation notation. All right. We can pull out this constant uh, multiple of 2, right? because every term is going to have a factor of 2, so we can just factor out the 2 from the whole thing and then do the sum separately. i minus i equals 1 to 15, just 3. Um, so this is going to be 2 times, well, there's a formula for this. When we go from 1 to n, and we're just using i here, so 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4, plus 4 all, the way to, all the way up to 15, the formula is n, that's 15, times n plus 1, that's 16, over 2. So these 2's would cancel, we get 15 times 16, minus, well, this is just adding up 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus all the way up 5, or not 5, but 15 times. So that would be 15 times 3. 
So you take 15 times 3 and subtract it from whatever we get here. So 15 times 16, I'm going to grab the old TI-83, 240 minus 45, that's a 240, minus 45 is going to be 195. There you go, using the a fairly simple example here, folding out that, pulling out that the constant multiple of 2, using that formula for i, from 1 to n of i, and uh, from 1 to 15, 1 to n of just a constant, so we multiply that constant by n. Right. So, moving on from 16, we will go to number 19. sum from i equals 1 to 15 of i times i minus 1 squared. So um, you might want to pull out this i, but the i is not a constant. It's not a 3 or a 2. Uh, i is not just some number. It changes. As i changes, i changes. Um, so it's not like we're just factoring at a 1. This is a 1, and one time it's 2, then another time it's 3. So we can't factor that out. Um, but what we could do is try and get this to be a sum, like a sum of a bunch of things, uh, and then split those apart. So we can't pull out this i, but what we could do is uh, first square this. So we'll have i times, we square this, we'll get i squared. Uh, minus 2i plus 1 and then we'll multiply everything by i, we'll distribute that i through there we get i to the third minus 2i squared plus i, this is going to incorporate three, all three of those special formulas so we'll have the sum from i equals 1 to 15 of i to the third, that's got a formula uh, well, minus, right, minus uh, the sum from i equals 1 to 15 of 2i squared. Well, that is a constant, so we'll pull out that 2, and we'll just leave i squared there, and there's a formula for that, plus uh, the sum from i equals 1 to 15 of just i. Because right, we, would, we would apply the, the rule to this for i equals 1 through 15, do the same thing 1 through 15, 1 through 15. So we might as well just split them up into their own sums. There's a formula for this. This is given by n squared, so 15 squared, times n plus 1 squared, so that's 16 squared, over 4. This one, right, minus 2 times this one is given by n, that's 15 times n plus 1, that's 16, times 2n plus 1, that's 2n is 30, plus 1 is 31, over 6, uh, plus, this one's given by n, that's 15, times n plus 1, that's 16, over 2. All right. Um, so, we just run the numbers here, 15 squared, just do it little by little. I'm just going to actually double check and make sure I got those uh, formulas right. Take this one. Mm -hmm. Okay. So 15 squared is 225 times 16 squared, 256. Of course, I'm doing this painfully slowly uh, because you could just put this in your calculator. It would all work itself out. Um, this could cancel with the 15, this would be 5, so we'll have 5 times 16 times 31 is 2,480 uh, plus, let's see, this would cancel, that's 8, 15 times 8 120, okay, this uh, 4, I'm sure we'll go into 256. 64, so you got 225 times 64 minus 2480 plus 120. 
is 12,040. All right. Um, that's it. That's it for that problem. As you can see we just split them up into all the separate sums and then applied the formulas to that. Um, and we're going to go on to 35. sum from i equals 1 to n of 2i plus 1 over n squared. Okay. When we go about uh, answering the uh, area problem, the area question, um, which you'll know what I mean soon enough, um, we are going to, this is going to come in handy. Rewriting this is going to come in handy. So, now n is a, a number. It's 5, it's 6, it's 15, it's whatever. Um, so it's a constant. So n squared is just that number times itself. n doesn't change. n is just the stopping point. So n squared is a constant, so we could look at this as 1 over n squared times 2i plus 1. This now becomes a constant multiple, and we can pull it out. 1 to n of 2i plus 1. Okay, coming down over here. Uh, now we have 1 over n squared times, now these are two different sums. The first one is the sum from i equals 1 to n, whatever n is. Uh, of i, and we have that constant multiple of 2 that we can pull out, we get faster at this, uh, plus the sum from i equals 1 to n of 1. Okay, applying those formulas, we get now 1 over n squared times 2 times, well this is just n times n plus 1, n plus 1 over 2, and those will cancel. It's getting simpler all the time plus, we're going to add up n ones, so we're just going to have n, right? We're going to have 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1, n times, so we're going to have just n. All right, so 1 over n squared times n times n plus 1 plus n, so we have 1 over n squared uh, times n squared plus n n plus n, so 1 over n squared uh, times n squared plus 2n, so we can multiply this back in and get 1 over n squared times n squared is 1, plus 2n over n squared is just 2 over n. So all this became quite simple. Um, and now what they want us to do is find this sum which we use summation formulas to rewrite into this very simple expression. They want us to find the sum for n is 10, n is 100, n is 1,000, n is 10,000. Um, so I'm going to pull up my calculator and do this for all of those numbers. 1 uh, plus 2 over 10. 1.2. So for n equals 10, we get 1.2. For n, e n equals 100, what do we get? 1 plus 2 over 100, we get 1.02. For n equals 1,000, I think it said 1,000 next, and then 10,000 after that. Uh, 1 plus 2 divided by 1,000. Well, that's just going to move the decimal place over three times. It's going to be 0 0.002, so we'll get 1.002. 1.002, and we could imagine for n equals 10,000, we would get 1.0002. Alrighty. So apparently, the bigger n gets, the closer this will get to being 
1, so that's an important concept um, as we move forward. Not quite yet, but it will be soon enough. Last one, 38. Sum from i equals 1 to n of 4i squared. That's a 4 times i minus 1 over n to the fourth. Okay, so we're going to move a little quicker here. n to the fourth is a constant. It's like this is being multiplied by 1 over n to the fourth, so we can pull out 1 over n to the fourth times the sum from i equals 1 to n of 4i squared times i minus 1. So now we have 1 over n to the 4th times, now this is going to, well, these, let's multiply these together. So i equals 1 to n of 4i to the 3rd minus 4i squared, right? Uh, so let's swing around here, 1 over n to the 4th times, um, see these are going to get their own summations, their own summation uh, notations, so 4 times uh, uh, from what i equals 1 to n of i to the third, and this is going to get it its own, so minus, we'll pull out that constant of 4, constant multiple of 4, times the sum i equals 1 to n of i squared, and now we've broken it down so that all that's left in the summation is something that has a special formula. So 1 over n to the fourth, <coughs> times, <coughs> pardon, um, I'm noticing now we could have this whole time, um, this is a constant multiple of 4, so we could pull, pull out a constant multiple of 4, there's no 4 there anymore, 4 there, no 4 there, no 4 there, no 4 needed here or here, right, just so, so this is a 4 out here, and this is a 4 out here, so just this guy here, that's going to be n, times n plus 1, times 2n plus 1, over, uh, what, 6, minus n, uh, oh, you know, I used the wrong formula. Let's back up. That's n squared times n plus 1 squared over 4. And this one here is n times uh, n plus 1 times 2n plus 1 over 6. Okay, let's keep going with this. 4 over n to the 4th times, uh, let's square this out, n squared, um, n squared plus, uh, or sorry, n squared times n squared plus 2n plus 1 over 4 minus uh, let's multiply these, well, let's multiply these, multiply these two parentheses together here. n times 2n squared plus 3n plus 1 over 6. We keep it going. 4 over n to the 4th uh, times, multiply these together, n to the 4th plus 2n uh, cubed plus n squared over 4 minus... 2n to the third plus 3n squared plus n over 6. Okay, we can, uh, you can multiply through now. Multiply through here. Um, I'll write it over here. So we'll have 4, when you distribute this, we'll have 4 times n to the fourth plus 2n cubed plus n squared all over 4n to the 4th, so these 4s will cancel, uh, minus, okay, we're going to distribute this 4 over here, so 4 times 2n to the 3rd plus 3n squared plus n, all over 6n uh, to the 4th. Okay, this 4 will cancel with this 6, this will be a 2, this will be a 3, so we'll bring it down here, sorry for the messiness, uh, now we're left with n to the 4th plus 2n 
cubed plus n squared over n to the fourth to the fourth uh, minus we get a two here. Let's distribute that two. So we have four n cubed uh, plus uh, six n squared plus two n. Well, that's going to be over 6. And, oh goodness, I mean, we could get common denominators here, but what a, what a nightmare. So I'll just leave it like that. What a messy looking thing. And then they want us to plug in 10 and 100 and 1,000. So let's use our calculators and be smart about this thing. Let's just create a function that we can plug in 10 and 100 and so on. So uh, first, this will be uh, n to the fourth. Plus, I'm going to use my mouse here, plus uh, 2n cubed plus n, nope, n squared divided by n to the fourth. Okay, then we're going to subtract, but make sure this all gets grouped together. I'm just checking the other numerator there. Okay, and 4n to the third plus 6n squared plus 2n divided by 6. And so we would just plug in 10 and then 100 and 1,000 and so on. So we'll just go to the table. We'll plug in 10. Uh, so that's negative, let's go over to it, negative 768.79. Um, okay, I just found my mistake. This should still have an n to the fourth here. Um, yeah, there's still an n to the fourth. This should be three. I must, I must have been looking up there. So this should be three n to the fourth down here. So let's fix that on our calculator. We'll fix the function so that this is three n to the fourth. Okay, so we should be getting something different now. Um, when you put in a 10, you get 1.056. And when we go down here and put in a 100, we get 1.0056. I think that's what it says, 1.006566. Um, and when we put in a 1,000, at 1.007 or 1.00066566 and then we put in 10,000 and it just keeps getting the decimal part keeps getting smaller so as n gets bigger we're noticing we get closer to 1 uh, so if you'll you know it doesn't take much imagination to think, well, that's what we do a lot in calculus. We let things go to infinity, um, or we let things go really close to zero, right? And so in this case, n is going to be this thing that we let go to infinity, and you'll see why soon enough, but that's summation notation. Uh, so we should have summation notation. We should have uh, antiderivatives. We should be good on those. Um, so thanks for watching.